Rotunda Smart Pressure Technology produces the densest visible smoke vapor over the tester's entire operating pressure range. Smart Pressure Technology software prevents thinning of the smoke density that occurs when conventional units are set at high pressure. A denser smoke vapor means it's easier to see the smoke at leak points. Setting the test pressure is fully automatic and could not be simpler. Just set it and forget it. Smart Pressure can find leaks in many systems such as intake, exhaust, turbos, and charge air coolers to name a few using smoke, laser light, and UV dye. The UltraTrace UV dye allows you to find leaks that smoke alone will not. However, the Rotunda Smart Pressure Tester is not for EVAP system testing. Let's get started with the tester's initial setup. UltraTrace UV, part number 218-P0712UV, has a patented solution chemistry that won't damage vehicle components and contains a special contaminant-free dye that deposits at the exact location of a leak. If you're the first user of the Smart Pressure Tester, pour the entire contents of two 12-ounce UltraTrace UV solution bottles into the smoke chamber. Check the solution level with the UV light. Do this regularly and maintain the solution level at or near the full mark, but don't overfill it. Each bottle performs approximately 150 test cycles. With the correct fitting installed, connect workshop air or nitrogen to the smart pressure and set the input pressure between 50 and 175 PSI or 3.4 to 12 bars. Please note that you must connect the shop air or gas prior to connecting the tester to power, or an error code NOA, no air connected, will be displayed and the tester won't work. Connect the power cord onto the back of the tester and push the white tab forward to the locked position. The quick disconnect battery cable allows you to use an optional AC power supply as well. Order part number 218-WVA-080. Now that the tester is set up, let's take a look at how to use it. To begin, connect the tester to the vehicle's battery. Connect the positive terminal first, then connect the negative terminal to a known good ground away from the battery. Within 20 seconds, the tester will automatically run a self-test and self-calibrate. Once calibrated, the tester's display shows all zeros. Next, using the correct turbo adapter from the adapter set or another appropriate adapter, connect it to the intake and make sure that you tighten the clamp until it's snug before applying pressure. The smart pressure tester is simple and easy to use. The LED lights show you what mode the digital display is reading. You have three choices with the mode button. Pressure in PSI, pressure in bars, and flow in liters per minute. Each time you push the mode button, it will change the display mode and the yellow LED light will indicate which reading is being displayed. The up and down arrow buttons are used to adjust your pressure settings. A pressure setting must be entered before pushing the on-off button. Push the up arrow button to increase the pressure and push the down arrow button to decrease the pressure. Once you've set the pressure, push the on off button to start a 10 minute test cycle. This will illuminate the green light. The test cycle automatically turns off after 10 minutes and goes into off decay setting, turning on the yellow off decay light. Manually turning the test cycle off will also put the tester in off decay. The pressure decay mode is very important when performing a closed system test. To perform this test, adjust the system pressure until it reaches test pressure, and then push the on-off button to turn the smart pressure tester off. This puts the tester into off decay mode and illuminates the yellow light. Now watch the pressure display. If the pressure reading drops, you have a leak. If it doesn't drop, the known closed system is leak free. Next, let's take a look at smoke testing. Push the on-off button. Give it time to start making a lot of smoke from the smoke supply hose. Do not connect it to the system being tested until thick, dense smoke is seen exiting the smoke supply hose. 
Now that thick smoke is being generated, connect the smoke supply hose to the system being tested. There are three easy steps for finding a leak. The first step is to use a bright light to look for any smoke. This works best when the pressure is low, so start looking as the system is being filled. For the second step, use your laser light and scan areas for smoke that will break the laser light beam, like lasers at a rock concert. This will indicate the general location of the leak. For the third step, use the UV light to find the ultra-trace dye that deposits at the exit site, marking the exact location of the leak. This is an essential feature for high-pressure leak testing. You can't find high-pressure leaks with smoke alone. The Smart Pressure Smoke Machine comes standard with a wireless remote. The gray button controls the mode and the red button controls the on-off function of the tester. The remote allows you to control every function of the Smart Pressure Tester from anywhere in the work bay. It's also more convenient and saves you time by allowing you to move freely around the system being tested without having to go back to the machine and change a setting. Once again, you can identify intake, exhaust, turbo, and charge air cooler leaks using the Smart Pressure Tester and UltraTrace UV solution. Remember, you can't find high pressure leaks with smoke alone. The Rotunda Smart Pressure Tester and all of the accessories and supplies for it may be purchased at the Rotunda tab on PTS or at rotundaservicesolutions.com.